Hi guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations with another short video of a vintage pachinko machine. Uh, certainly if you enjoy watching these videos, I would encourage you to subscribe, click on the like button, leave comments, all that stuff. Um, we're shooting for a thousand and getting closer every day and I appreciate everybody that subscribes. If you have questions, the best way for, to, for you to get an answer to the question, um, I will answer questions on the YouTube channel but this is the best way to get in touch with me, magicpachinkorestorations.com, and there is a contact me area. Please leave your phone number, preferably. I do enjoy talking to people, or uh, an email address at minimum so that I can get back to you. I get these notifications right away, and I return them right away. Okay, so before we um, get into this pachinko machine, I do have to say a couple of things about my boys, the Buffalo Bills. Sorry to the Los Angeles Rams and the Tennessee Titans for the crushing that we gave you. So if you're fans of those two teams, I apologize, but hey, get used to it. All right, so on to the Pachinko machine. This is a 1970, what did I say, 76? 1976 Sanyo Comet 2. Um, and this particular machine has a feature on it that I just absolutely love, and that is the uh, pearlescent plastic on the front feed tray here. I just I wish more companies used this kind of plastic. I don't know if it was, um, you know, expensive or or what, but it it just it 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 just cleans up nice. It shines. It's just really really pretty. Um, this. Took kind of a beating down here. I had to repaint this whole yellow stripe. Uh, the aluminum gets all polished up. Uh, it's relatively easy to do. So this does have uh, full restoration done to it with a new play field. Uh, very cool center attraction and, and uh, four tulips and two pay pockets. The um, jackpot light is here. The ball out light is here. Um, in the past, I've added LED lights to these guys, and, and uh, so they're they're kind of easy to modify and, and uh, dial them up if you so desire. So, <laughs> as a shot of the, the nice red mahogany wood that is on most all pachinko machines that I'm aware of. So this one um, this one took a little bit of a beating in shipping. Uh, the, this didn't have the cover on it. Um, unfortunately, and right here, it it broke right where my finger is. And fortunately, uh, super glue saved the day. And also, oddly enough, um, right here, this piece, this this upper piece, was broke. It was broken right here. So this piece was missing. Um, and without it, you don't get the action that that keeps the. Uh, uh, the whole mechanism from cycling. Now, it, it's not necessary for that actually to be there. Um, it's only It only really comes into play when you run low on balls. So the machine did function without it, but fortunately I had, um, <clears throat> I have a friend in Ohio, Rudy, <clears throat> excuse me, who had a couple of these machines and he was able to supply me with the extra part. Uh, we'll get this 3D molded and, and printed up so I can return it to him. Uh, a lot of the Sankios don't have any kind of electrical, so I ended up building uh, my own. This is just a little uh, DIY kind of circuit board. You just wire the power in, and then um, I had to uh, wire in new wires and and uh, so on and so forth. But there's only, you know, there's a, the ball out light and the jackpot light, and they just go up, and it's DC circuitry, so it's relatively easy to do. Um, if anybody ever has any questions <coughs> about that, um, just let me know. Uh, real quick, I've got a couple of uh, requests for machines for sale. Um, there are currently three machines for sale on the website right now. Um, two were done by my protege Rudy in Ohio. He does a great job. You wouldn't be unhappy if you bought those. Uh, the other one is my train that I've done a video on. That one is, is for sale also. Uh, plus, I have about eight or ten other machines that I just have to get restored, but I only do those in, um, when I don't have customer machines. So, up, uh, let's get this loaded up. So, when you load these kids, 
plug in the power, the ball out light will come on. The Sanyos have a, a default here. This is, uh, a, the default is, is closed. So you don't have to worry about uh, the balls dumping down through the chute. If I push on that, then these swing out of the way and it would let the balls exit the machine. But the default is so that they're there. All you want to do is make sure that the, the um, arms aren't like that because that's, in other words, they're below the plate. So you just push on this, they go above and then, then they'll stay where they belong. Um, this is the track cover. Quite often it's missing on a lot of machines. I don't know why, but I've seen it missing on a lot of machines. So handful in the upper hopper. You want them to run along the upper supply into the turnaround, the lower supply and right into the jackpot chamber where they stop. And eventually the balls start to back up. If you have, for example, 500 balls, you want to put 450 of them right there. always want to have this tray full so if you win a lot make sure you bring your winnings back up and, and put them into this tray uh, the machine just simply will not function properly unless this tray is full but there's too many things that depend on uh, the proper amount of pachinko balls being in the machine the other thing you want to check is to make sure your seesaw is in the correct position again seesaws should be tipped this way rather than this way and if they are down this little push lever here is designed to bring them up. So make sure this is good and your machine is full of balls. You will need something to catch the balls. Um, Homer, my, my Homer, uh, you guys haven't seen it before. There's there's Homer up there. Every hour on the hour, I get a little Homerism. It brightens my day. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, let's launch some balls through this kid. Right now all the tulips are open, so we should get a, a number of wins right away, hopefully. Now every once in a while, if you notice the jackpot light is stuck. That's because the machine didn't cycle properly. So typically you look in the back and you make sure that the, the winning ball exited and you lift up on the paper clip, reset it, and everything's fine. It's the nature of something that's 50 years old. Uh, things just simply wear out. That's the Sanyo Comet 2. Hope you like it.